Today on Pandemic Chef, mac and cheese. This ain't your mama's mac and cheese. Now we're gonna roast a little bit of garlic for our cheese sauce with a bit of olive oil and some foil in an oven for about 450 degrees for a little while. The unveiling of the roasted garlic. It smells really good. Let's see how it looks. Here we go our roasted garlic that we will be using for our mac and cheese. There must be an easier way to do this. If you know at home, please tell me. Now let's get started with our cheese sauce. Uh, we're gonna start by in a saucepan, adding a little bit of heavy cream. That should be enough for now. We'll add more as needed. And to that, we're going to add uh, some fresh thyme. As well as the chopped up roasted garlic that we just roasted in the oven. And I have to say, it is very tasty. It's like garlic candy. Let's mix that up a little bit. To that, we're gonna add a little uh, black truffle salt. Cause we're gonna like double down on our truffle here. Triple down actually. So add some roasted garlic powder. A little bit of Aleppo pepper. And we're gonna add some of this um, truffle. So this is truffle number two. Add a little bit of that to the sauce. Now let's stir that a bit. So you gotta be saying, hey, how can this be a cheese sauce with no cheese? Well, the cheese is coming. The cheese is coming. The first cheese we're going to add is the truffle burrata. So burrata is like mozzarella cheese with cream uh, inside and shreds of mozzarella cheese. Uh, and this one also has some truffle in it. And we have two big balls that we will be incorporating. We're adding that first because uh, we want to make sure that the mozzarella has enough time to dissolve. Mm. 
Next, we're going to add our Colby Jack cheese. And this was eight ounces. Uh, it was an eight ounce block that I shredded. We're gonna add some of that for now. We'll add it a little bit later. And let's add some mild cheddar cheese. This is finely shredded, so this will melt a lot quicker. And we're going to stir this constantly until it reduces. As the cheese starts reducing, stir in more. What are you going to do, Mr. Cheese? I don't know. I'm melting. Melting. <laughs> Keep stirring. Keep stirring. Please, sir, can I have some more cheese? Of course you can. Woohoo. I think this cheese sauce is finally cheesy enough. You can't stop it. It's the claw. Oh, and it's coming for you. Now we're going to start putting together our mac and cheese uh, so we can uh, put it in the oven. So uh, our pre-boiled elbow macaroni uh, is already in the casserole dish. To that, we are going to add our chopped lobster meat. Uh, before we do anything else, we're going to stir that up a bit. So we can have evenly distributed lobster. Because, you know, you should. Next, we're going to start uh, ladling the cheese sauce into the macaroni. It's a little liquidy, but it will uh, mix with the starch of the macaroni to become a lot denser. In order to get a nice crunchy topping, we're gonna uh, Top this with panko breadcrumbs. A nice hefty dose of panko. After that, we're going to put it in the oven at 400 degrees. Mm-hmm. 